So in this video, we've got another projector, this time by Nexago. I wanna thank the guys at Nexago for sending this over to review on the channel. So this is model PJ20. It's currently 250 bucks on Amazon, but currently has a $50 off coupon right now. I'll leave a link down below with current pricing and more information. This one is 9,500 Lux brightness. This one is a native 1080p projector, five gigahertz Wi-Fi, Dolby sound support, Bluetooth 5.1. So you should be able to hook this one up to an external speaker or or Bluetooth headphones. And this one will go up to a 200 inch screen. You can also use wireless screen mirroring for iOS, Android, Windows devices. Just keep in mind, there are certain services that don't support screen mirroring due to copyright protections. Inside the box, you're gonna get an audio video adapter, power cable, and a really small remote control here. And of course, the user manual. Okay, I'm definitely liking the design on this one. Nice matte black finish here on the front. Let's take the lens cap off here. And then along the top there, you've got touch controls. You've got some air vents and filter there on the sides. Nice curved metal texture here on the top. Super glossy here on the back where the ports are. You've got two HDMI ports, two USB ports, audio video jack and headphone jack. You also have your remote control sensor. Over here on the left is sort of a unique power button that also doubles as your keystone adjustment. Pretty typical rubber feet here on the bottom. And then you've got a button here you hit for your adjustable foot. So overall build quality on this one, really nice. Definitely feels like a little bit more premium projector than some of the other ones I've reviewed. Let's go ahead and get this hooked up. I'll show you a few different devices. I'll go ahead and show you what the menu looks like and give you what my first impressions are. Now when setting this up, first thing I notice is just how easy it is to turn on and off. The power button sort of reminds me of what you would see in a car to turn the radio on. And surprisingly, this projector looks really good with all the lights on, but things are definitely gonna look better once you turn off all the lights. One of my favorite parts of this projector is definitely gonna be the digital focus where you can adjust it just using the remote control. It's just really easy to get dialed in. And there's none of that blurriness you get at corners, which you'll usually find common on budget projectors. The home screen consists of three sections. You've got the multimedia shortcuts, input source shortcuts for HDMI 1, HDMI 2, multi-screen and, and audio video jack. Then you have settings with a nice and clean user interface for projection mode, image scaling, aspect ratio, picture mode, focusing, OSD language, software update. It also has auto sleep and then you get Wi-Fi and Bluetooth connections. You can also cast Windows, iOS devices, Miracast and DLNA. The resolution on the screen looks really good as well. Whether you're displaying text, websites, everything looks nice and sharp. Another nice feature is you can connect this projector to Bluetooth headphones or a Bluetooth speaker. Here's a sample of what it sounds like connected to my JBL Flip 5. <laughs> It's kind of hard to tell from my video quality, but in person, everything looks really good watching movies, playing modern or retro games. The speakers on here could be a little bit louder in my opinion, so you'll definitely want to use surround sound or some type of external speaker, depending on what size of room you're going to use this in. Nice thing is the fan noise isn't too loud on this one, although I did notice in my recordings, I had my camera a little bit too close to the fan, so it is going to sound a little bit louder than what it is in person. Now, is this projector perfect? No, but so far out of all the projectors I've tested on my channel, this PJ20 by Nexago is easy easily my favorite projector so far. The features you get with this one, the quality of screen, just the overall quality of this projector for the price makes this one a projector that you definitely need to put on your list.
So if you've made it this far into the video, you may want to say thanks by subscribing and don't forget to give a thumbs up if this video was helpful. This is Brian from Fishbee Productions. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm.